Hello and welcome back to Crack the World, Season 1, Episode 2. I am Lord Arceus, and we're just continuing on here to build fortifications and hopefully soon have our final structures up and running. We also probably might want to invest in some light. Eh, still got that rat. Probably want to Hi -ya! Him too. Yeah, let's kind of invest in a few of those. Do we have any leather now? Okay, we have two leather, we got some needles, we have some grain. Wheat. Eh. Oh, we finally have our tables. Okay, they're right there. The main reason we want to invest in the is one, we want some for food. And usually I build these around here, but I don't really have the time to be doing so right now. Should be good. We have five dwarves. And let's actually put some food out now. Now actually what we want to do first is make some salads because those are relatively useful early on as a just extra food source. We want to keep the berries because they're used for oils later. And let's just fill up these with just extra foods. And there we go. We have enough threat. Just kill him. It doesn't really hurt early on, so. Our guys should have weapons, but I want to make a handful of extra weaponry. Just to make sure we have everyone equipped. Yep. And we can also start investing in a few more pickaxes. Equip those. You are a miner. Carpenter. You'll be getting an axe anyway, so that's good. Another warrior. You'll be getting an axe too. And the main reason we do this, or we, I wanted to cut that area out, is so I can actually have access to this relatively easily and not have to open a portal nearby. How much do we want? We, I haven't seen any iron, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna spend all three, and we'll use that just to supplement our first mine and a little bit of armor. A uh, comfort. Once this goes to around 50 or 60, it supposedly stops being I'm to my what is it? an issue. But till then, I'm just going to fill this in and just kind of try to keep an eye on this. I actually want to remove the ladder in this area. I also want to build That and that. Build this one. Uh, what do I not need here? I really don't like that I have to basically put the food on like that. And there we go. I just want to build up there so I can eventually build down here. Just not have to do it right now. Yes, I know. Let's see. Build a handful more of these. Yes, I know we have enough to go multiplayer. Build an improved uh, portal and you can go and do multiplayer. Technically, I don't remember if it's multi uh, strictly multiplayer or if it's just send them out on expeditions. 
Regardless, they're a nuisance. I'll kill you and you because I need bones. I see some coal here. I'm looking for any specific materials here. I'm not. That's roots. Yeah. I don't know why this is still considered part of the area because that actually hurts us. These are supposed to be a limit area. Okay. Let's avoid going too far too far down here. There's some iron, but we can't really reach that. At least not at this time. That's why I built the weapons. <laughs> Uh, I'm guessing we could probably start, uh, let's carve this out. And what else do we need here? We do have a stone area here. We're scouting the rest of this. We get some more graveyards. Oh, another graveyard. This is the ocean, which is the end of the world in this case. Not much of an issue for us, we don't really have to care about that. We do need to kill one of these guys soon, though. So, I'm gonna open up a portal here, and we're gonna kill you and harvest this wood. And probably this stone, too. the ground. And that. Basically just pillage the surface. As is what we normally do. Okay, next. Magic light, yeah, I know, that's what I'm trying to make anyway. Do I have enough bones? Nope. We have enough of just about everything else, but... We still need a few things. Oh, we got a skeleton saber. That will be going on our warrior. Oh, wrong button. Let's go over to our warrior. He's our logger, so he's the newest addition to our little family. Uh, do we have enough stone? No, we don't have enough stone. Warrior, you take your new weapon. Let's see. That'll be for later. And we'll have to start replacing these backgrounds soon enough. Do we have wood? Yeah, we have wood. There we go. I'll make just a handful of those initially, and next we want to first clear that. Put that in there. Crap that so we have some uh, some rope. We actually need some iron here. How much leather do we have? Two, no chitin or chitin. I keep forgetting it's chitin, not chitin. So I'm kind of used to saying it as chitin. Let's see. I need planks. But we do have the e materials to make a workbench, so I'm going to make that now. Yes, I know. We're going to need that ASAP. Build that right there. Oh, one of the 
little darkness creatures. And we can start making planks now. Planks are really useful for just about any, I guess, more sophisticated crafting recipe, though they do require one of your dwarves to work on the crafting bench. And let's see. With spikes. Yeah, we'll be using those later. Carve that out. Uh, we probably want to carve into this area as well. Yep. Mechanized catapult. Yep. Those are good against these uh, waves, but until then, I'm not really useful. Yeah, we still need to wait for them to make planks, but that should be soon enough. Hmm. Why are you going over there? Oh. Because apparently they forgot them that, uh... Okay. Why not just come down here, then? Uh. Yeah, unfortunately, they're not very intelligent in that what that regard. It kind of doesn't help that I built them into kind of a corner. So. In fact, I'm just going to take a try with you, and you're going to build for me. And there we go. Now they can climb down. Chop that. Chop that. Harvest into this area. Yep. Everything should be working well now. Now let's go back to here. Uh. Yeah. I don't want this pond here, but it's not going to really hurt anything, so... No point cha changing it now. Quick that. Uh, let's replace the front sand. I'm still waiting for our first run-in with the very unpleasant goblins. We'll be seeing them relatively soon. They usually spawn around in this guy, though. There we go. actually finally got our planks, so if I remember correctly, this, this, and being attacked by flies or something. Hmm. No, I don't have the recipe for it. Yeah, there's the chitin. Yeah. Flies flying into my eye. Very unpleasant thing. to craft this and not have to deal with random stuff trying to figure out the recipe I'm trying to make. There we go. We'll craft a few of those. Now, these are actually relatively useful in the fact that they can... I okay, I have six minutes left. Uh, basically, um, it allows me to build a ladder that is temporary that I can re remove and place at will. I just kind of want to remove that and just kind of barricade this area. Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah. It's always been annoying recently. There. I don't know. Just something about the weather recently has made them very prolific. Okay, let's kill them. Them and them. Come on. Yeah, we need emergency. Do their work. We should now have our little structures. Our scaffolding. We have a fishing and carpenter's book. We won't be using these till later when we need to specialize some units. Until my turn! Until my turn! Yeah, hopefully that'll be dealt with soon enough. Hunter! We need planks down here. Hmm. Most of these creatures seem to be pests. <laughs> and now I can just do this. It'll make it a lot easier for them to move around without killing themselves. Yeah, luckily these guys can't climb. They rely on other units to do it for them. Let's see. Chop that down. What else do we need? Probably would help to start investing in building the background of my little hovel. I also need to build a new couple of beds. Probably invest in two of them. Of course, I forgot to toss them in here. I honestly very rarely use these little bridges, so. There we go. And let's make a third floor. And replace earth, replace earth, replace earth. The usual. Wish there was an easier way of doing this, but unfortunately it's not really. Aside from removing and destroying the house. Which, by itself, causes more issues. But luckily we don't have to worry about too much here. The only reason we're doing this is it'll stop uh, those vines from spawning in our house and reducing our happiness. Because it's always about the happiness. How much wood do we have left? Yep. Not a lot. Not a lot. But we have enough to do this. And we'll just finish this off quickly. Oh. Sounds like something's off to the left. Oh. Nice. A nice annoying swarm. And we'll need to build some torches down here. And there we go. I'll fill in this area eventually as well. So. Make it into a nice flat zone. Unfortunately, this isn't going to really increase the comfort until I start building decorations. 
booklet. That shouldn't be too much of an issue. Oh, so he's finally re uh, recognizing this as a domain of... Ugh. Yeah, for some reason, this thing's finicky, and it doesn't like certain things, and if I can just cause that to happen, then it'll be a lot less of an issue for me. Ugh. But now I need to expand out to her section. Because I need at least two, uh, two for each bed. Okay, let's see. And these will be our crafting zones. Surprised on that one. But eventually, we're going to have this entire area mined out, so that's not going to be too much of an issue. Let's go here. Actually, we want to go back over here quickly and re up a little bit more time. We need to build right here. Hmm. Interesting. Yes, I know his comfort's unhappy because there's creatures in his domain. Yada yada. Well, we need more wood as well. We'll fill this in layer by layer. We also want to invest in replacing some front earth here. Make this into a nice stone tomb. And we'll chop that up. Yeah, the stone kitchen, we won't be doing that for a while. We still need... Oh, actually. We should have enough materials to do it. We just need to make more of these. Which we need more wood. Yeah, we should have the bones to do that now. Hooray. The light spell. Use it to produce light. Very simple. It allows you to explore areas relatively far away and just outside of your visual distance. You can't go too far, but it's close enough that you can, as long as you see it partially, you can create a light to see further. When you're planning on exploring far off reaches, this is a good thing to start with. And, as you can see, I found some iron, and you'll uh, remember, iron was something that we needed. Yep. As you can see, you can get pretty far with this type of thing. I can see some silver down here. And as long as you can see, as long as you have seen the area at one point, I don't have much mana. It's not much of an issue, but as long as I can actually see this region, I can spawn a portal in the area. Which works really well for us. Is it? Oh. Never mind. Let's see. Crafting. What we have here? Slam torches. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care about 90% of this stuff. Actually, we might want to invest in this eventually. 
Right now, we don't have any issues or needs to do so. And we need to put a new torch down here and here. And probably here. Just in general, don't let more than three distance accrue over there. It'll be an issue. Build stone, 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 and stone. Oh, oh we ran out of portal. That'll do it. The main reason I'm doing this now is because I can actually build in this area. Like these, I can move them down. They don't need to be inside the structure, they just need to be around. And until I can get enough mana to do anything further, I'm kinda stuck. Eventually I can just dig out this area and put the hatch and start working on the surface again, but... Do I have all my dwarves here? I have a feeling I probably don't. Select dwarf. Yep, he's... oh, he's... They're still out. Okay. I was pretty sure I had enough of these, but oh well. Uh, Melchus, if I remember correctly, they just provide comfort. They actually don't store anything. And we want everything here just about. And we'll just fill in this area eventually. Oh, I hear some goblins. Where are those goblins? Oh, did the goblins spawn over here? No. There we go. Yes, here are the goblins. Now, usually if you're... Uh, base is open to the air, or open to the sky, they'll come out, raid your uh, stalks, and then leave. Going back to here, and basically store anything that was stolen. Yeah. Now, luckily we don't have to deal with anything over here, and we can just continue what we're doing, as long as we have this little structure here. Oh, looks like we got another rat spawn. Onto my, onto my there we go. Open pot. We'll get those eventually. In fact, actually, I could. I think I can. No, I can't do it yet. We do have coins, but we're going to save those for now until we actually need to do anything. Onto my dog. You try to save up money until you actually need it. Got there, there, and there. Probably good to craft up a few more torches. Oh, it actually seems like we're a little bit over time. I keep forgetting that. But, till next time, if you enjoy what you're watching, like and subscribe for more. Have a nice day. See you in the next episode. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you for watching. For more content, check out my channel. If you wish to support my channel, check out my Patreon. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for updates.